Hi, my name is Catherine Martland. I'm the Violence Reduction Coordinator for Trafford Council, and this is a presentation around reducing school exclusions. My role involves coordinating the spend of the Serious Violence Grant using a data-led and evidence-based approach. I support professionals working with young people by commissioning tailored interventions to support those at risk of or who are already engaging in violence. Interventions may be mentoring programmes, support with accessing drug and alcohol services, wellbeing support or counselling, and I will support the team around a child to monitor these interventions. I also work alongside partners to prevent or reduce exclusions for our young people. My role follows a public health model and a complete primary, secondary and tertiary interventions. For young people who are on the fringes of exploitation, exclusion from school can exacerbate these concerns. And without the support of the adults who know them and the structure of the school day, young people can become vulnerable to grooming. Gang leaders have been known to deliberately target children who've been excluded from school and draw them into a world of criminal activity. And gang leaders can also even engineer the exclusion of young people who are already being groomed, making them easier to control. The Knife Crime and Youth Violence Protocol for Education has been developed to support schools to respond in a robust and consistent way to a weapon being brought into an education setting. This guide has been sent out to all of our schools in Trafford um, in order to give them the tool to be able to respond in a robust and consistent way. The, pro the protocol sets out to give a practical step-by-step -step guide for dealing with an incident including the legal and the Department for Education support that's available to schools. The protocol encourages schools to contact the Violence Reduction Coordinator, who will arrange a multi-agency meeting around the young person to arrange support options and put in place interventions to hopefully keep that young person in their education placement. If it isn't possible to keep the young person in their education placement, then we still would look to support the transition into a new setting. And also in that time, we would utilise the invaluable knowledge that the school hold on that young person. We utilise a variety of different interventions in order to reduce school exclusions, aiming to have an understanding of the young person's lived experience. We match interventions to the young person's interests and goals to hook them in and to ensure that they remain invested in that intervention. So some of the tools that we use to hook a young person in can be things like sport, um, activities such as arts and crafts, helping them achieve their goals that they're interested in. So that could be goals around education, employment and training, goals around their social needs. Um, and the provider that we link them up with will support them at every step to try and achieve those goals. Consideration is also given to the external factors that might affect our young people. For example, um, providing the support in a location that they feel safe and comfortable in, but also we aim to provide interventions at times when young people might otherwise be engaging in risky behaviours in order to disrupt that. Um, our pro providers work really closely with the partners to ensure that safeguarding concerns are responded to appropriately and that any intel that could reduce risk further is shared with all professionals involved with that young person and finally we monitor our interventions throughout the time that the young person is working with our provider to ensure that support remains appropriate and that all new emerging concerns are picked up so our providers will work with partners to ensure that issues such as um, mental health and well-being support housing concerns substance misuse concerns and anything else that's affecting that young person can also be provided to support them at the time when they're when they're engaged in the intervention.